Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 21 of the service portal training. In this day, we'll talk about that UIB model and then watch service. So UIB model and watch service, how can it benefit? So these are the also the additional um, services we are going to talk about that. So in our past video, we talk about that what is the location and then timeout services and today we'll talk about that UIB model and watch services. So UIB model is a service, but watch is a very uh, different kind of things that can help us to watch particular um, variable. I'll show you that in uh, this is also a um, interesting and uh, used very less places, but you should know that as part of the service portal training. So very first thing is that last the way we had created the last page we have created this page and this page we are tweaking and showing something right. So first thing I will talk about that UIB model. What is the UIB model and why we should use that UIB model? Okay. So in the UIB, uh, if you see here, this is the page we created long back. So I just want to show you guys. So this page we created long back, and in this page we are able to show that confirm instead of confirm or um, alert. We are showing different different boxes, right? Glide boxes. You can see this is the box we have created. Uh, this is the box. I mean, uh, this way we are just showing the pop up, right? So you can see uh, it is showing the record details in a pop-up. So there are many pop-up we created in our uh, previous video. Now um, you can see uh, there are very limitation, few limitation that you have to be put the header, title. You need to put the body. You can define the uh, you can define only two buttons, or you need to define the buttons. This thing, right? You are using the UIB model. It will be create. You can completely show a page, or maybe you can completely show any uh, HTML content. Um, depending on your use case, you need to be def design each and every component. Like you need to define the title. You need, I mean, you can design your title. You can design the button as many as you want. In between, you can add the buttons. Whatever, wherever you need it, you can define that uh, using the UIB model. Let's understand that. For that, what we have to do in this click here, um, I ha we added um, we added some um, uh, timeout function and we are redirecting that. So we. I'll just remove those options and I'll show you that. So very first thing is that we need to inject that uh, this UIB model, uh, you know, this uh, UIB model services. Okay. So for that, what I'll do, I'll go here and then remove this function. I don't need this function anymore. I'll remove that. And instead of, I mean, I'll add these services. Okay. Dollar dot UIB model. And now under this, what will be happen? you need to define that so this function will be called whenever this button will be clicked now here we need to define that what uh, options or which things we are going to perform so we have to define the open under this open we need to define the url and target everything here so we'll define one by one so here we need to define the template uh, url and then here we need to define the template name the way we are using that our uh, earlier uh, case and then here we need to define the scope and then uh, under this scope, we need to define that this scope. Okay, so here we need to define the template name. So to show that uh, to um, to show the content, I need I am going to open this in the platform here, and here I need to define the template. Okay, so for that I have to scroll down this widget, and here I need to create a template. So I'm going to create a template called uh, let's say taste. And here I'm going to uh, say that uh, in H2, I hello, and then here in paragraph, I'll say that please cancel. And I'll create a button. Call close and then I'll say that so this is my template I have just created for myself and I'll save that template and then this template can be called here so I'll just uh, you know uh, save that here and I am calling this template URL here 
Now let's refresh that and see how it looks like that. So if we refresh that and click here, and you can see this complete box is designed by ourselves. We can add CSS, we can add whatever we needed. And if you see here, this is the out of box they are providing. So if you want to create custom complete page, custom complete things, you can go for the YB model. Or if you have limited time, limited skill, you want to just show some of the message, you can use that uh, SP uh, open method or SP model method. So depending on your use cases, you can uh, uh, use that UIB model, but UIB model is limited use to very less use case. But when you think that you need that you need to be completely the pop-up need to be completely restructured or redesigned by yourself, you can define that. So next, uh, we'll talk about that watch. So what is the watch? So watch is not a kind of services. The watch is a, uh, you know, uh, uh, function that help us to um, watch particular, uh, to help us to watch particular variable, okay? So let me show you that, what is the example of that? So let's say that I have created one, let me create one variable first for that, to show you that demo. So let's say I'm going to create a uh, variable what i'll do i'll de declare a variable called scope dot name okay and in this name i'll say that throw it so this is my name i'm declaring and then here somebody click this button so click the go home or something like that somebody click the button and then i'll update the name okay so i'll just change that scope dot name to rohit kumar instead of direct name i'll just update uh, my surname now what will happen i'll just print this to here and nothing i'm doing here um in nothing just i'm pretty much simple every everyone know that what will be happen it will just print my name first and this is my name and then once i click that it will add some uh, surname okay so this is how it is working now what will be happen using that watch function we can particularly watch um any of this variable okay so what we have to do we have to be add uh, for that we have to define the scope here then we need to put the dollar watch and using this dollar watch we can particularly watch a uh, particular uh, variable so our case the variable name is name and then what we are doing we are going to perform certain actions what we are going to do that it have two parameter old value comma new value like the on change client script okay so uh, you can define any kind of thing and here you can define that what what action you want to take that now what action i am going to take that so let's say that i'm going to put that first whenever the form I'll, I'll just do a alert first i'm not doing anything right now i'll do kind of alert okay and then i'll print that old value Plus new value. So what will be happen whenever the page will be loaded, like um, like the on change client script, right? It load uh, whenever you loaded the form. In that that time that client script on change client script also work, and whenever the value changes also that time work, right? So let's say that if I refresh that, what will be happen? The first time whenever the page is loaded, the name value is the rohit, old value, and the new value also rohit, right? Now, if we click click here, so you can see the new value is the Rohit Kumar and then old value is the Rohit. So that is showing. Okay. So this way, so this way we can we can basically particularly watch particular variable and whenever the value will be changes for that uh, variable, we can watch. So what I'll do here instead of this alert, I'll say that if uh, old value not equal to new value. Okay. So that on load it should not work. Whenever the variable value will be changes at that time, I want to show some alert or I want to do some perform certain action. So I don't know that when the variable will be changes, but whenever the variable will be changes, I want to do some or I want to perform certain actions that I am defining here. Okay, so I'll just refresh that, and then uh, once you click, once you loaded the first time, the alert is not coming. But right now, value is the Rohit, and if I click here, the value will be changed from Rohit to Rohit Kumar, and that time the alert will be shown. Again, see 
the value got changes and it is showing so this way you can particularly watch um you know uh, like we use the sputil dot record watch to watch particular um you know record from the table similarly we can watch particular variable in this way so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day